Now, uh, in this lecture, we shall containerize the Blazor app we created earlier with the following steps. Create a Docker image from the Docker file and start and run a container from the Docker image. So let's flip over to Visual Studio. And the command to build the Docker image is Docker build. So let's click on tools and command line and developer command prompt. Let's bring this and expand it to the full size so that we have got more real estate. So Docker build minus T or T. This is the tag switch. It names, it names the image Docker or tags the image with this name docker blazor server whatever i am going to write over here and dot this dot at the end signifies it tells the docker to look for the docker file in the current directory so let's hit enter now it is building the docker image so it will take a quite a long time first time so we'll come back in a few seconds let's revisit the screen to see the steps are still being built now you can see that each step in the docker file is executed in order and intermediate images are created and removed along the way until the final image is built and tagged so these are the intermediate images. So removing intermediate container, intermediate container. This is also getting removed. And all these steps are as per the instruction given to it by the Docker file. All right. So it will take a little bit. So we'll revisit after it completes all the 17 steps. So now the build is complete successfully built this image this is the id of this image and this image has been tagged with docker blazor server demo latest another great thing about the docker is it's really efficient when building images it caches each layer so future builds can be sped up now let us run this command again docker build command so this time you'll see that the build is almost instance instant because it is using all the cached cached images you know caching so now we have to start the container um, now this caching is because nothing has changed since the docker has used and it has used the cached version of all the images used during the first build now which resulted in the near instant build now for starting a container the, it is a docker run command and let's now to is to start an instance of our new image and make sure everything works okay so let's issue the docker run command docker run this is p switch is for port 8080 this is the host port and it is mapped to the port 80 on the container this is the container and finally the tag name blazor what was the tag name docker blazor server demo docker blazor server demo So I issued this command by hitting enter. Now the application is listening on this port HTTP colon front slash front slash. This colon colon is mapped to 80. So this is the port that we assigned that was port 8080 in the Docker file. So let's try to um, browse it to that location okay 
So let's load a Chrome browser. And browse to HTTP. Local is it's already there because I've tried it before. So the app comes up. All right. So in this, we use the standard Brazor server app template to build the Docker image by configuring that Docker file. And we use that image to create a container which ran our Blazor server application.